Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to another part of Smart Question series, your daily dose of smart problem solving. In this series, we are taking difficult and smart questions which has been asked in the previous years of CSI net exam or gate exam. And the idea is to understand the concept behind those questions, which will give you a like a idea how to solve that question as well as you will also understand that how to solve similar questions or what is the actual concept behind them. So having said that, let's start with this particular video. In this video, I'm going to take a question from inorganic spectroscopy, which has been asked in CSIR June 2024 exam. Uh, you can watch uh, all the videos of this particular series from the playlist that's been here in the I button. You can click on this I button and you can watch that particular, uh, like all the videos of that particular series. Now let's start with it. Let's take the question and let's try to solve that particular question. All right, so this is the question which I was talking about. It was asked in CSIR uh, June 2024 exam, which was the recent CSI net exam. And the question was that the reaction of white phosphorus with sulfur gives mixture of products A, B and C. The 31 P NMR spectral features of the resultant mixture are shown below. You have three different spectra which is shown over here. Chemical shift is not in the order, so you just have to see or you just have to look upon the uh, type of uh, like peak okay the product abc are what okay by the way let me tell you that a similar type of question was asked in csir uh, december 2023 that means just a exam before this there was again a similar question which was which was asked so you should be uh, like you have to deal with these type of question where they are actually trying to mix main group chemistry as well as your uh, in organic spectroscopy okay so to answer this question first of all let's try to understand what type of peak we have and the options are like different uh, these are different phosphorus sulfides which are which are shown in the options or which are given in the options p4s3 p4s10 p4s7 uh, then we have just p4 or yeah so these are the major ones okay so now we have to understand that which one of these is the correct option okay so first of all let's analyze the peak the first peak or the compound a gives two types of peak okay it gives you a quartet you can see one two three four peaks so this is called quartet and it gives a two peak so it is called doublet okay so compound a has a quartet and doublet okay compound b has just one peak so we can just call it as singlet and compound c has a pair of two peaks one two three one two three so compound c gives you a triplet and triplet okay or two triplets now let's understand or let's see which are the phosphorus sulfides given to us in the question so we have p4s3 um, we have p4s10 and then we have uh, p4s7 right and p4 these are the four options which we have and combining them they have basically tried to ask the question okay so you should know the structures of them okay i'll start with p4s3 okay so the structure of p4s3 looks something like this here you have phosphorus uh, attached to each other through sulfur bonds okay so you have uh, like a sulf phosphorus sulfur phosphorus bonds so one two and you have one more uh, phosphorus sulfur phosphorus bond and you have this phosphorus phosphorus bond okay so this is the structure of p4 s3 this was the question asked in csir december 2023 where they were asking about the type of peak you are going to get in this okay now if you see here you have two types of phosphorus okay one is the phosphorus which is attached to three sulfurs right this is the phosphorus which is attached to three sulfurs so let's call it as phosphorus of type a this is a phosphorus which is attached to two phosphorus and one sulfur okay so two phosphorus and one sulfur this is also a phosphorus attached to two phosphorus and one sulfur and this is also a phosphorus attached to two phosphorus and one sulfur so all these three phosphorus are equivalent and they are all a type of phosphorus which is attached to two other phosphorus and one sulfur so these all are phosphorus of type b okay 
So that means you have two types of phosphorus and you will get two types of peak in this. Okay, now you have to see that which one is going to give you what type of peak. Now because the if you look upon the coupling, so one phosphorus which is let us say if we call about, about Pa. So this is going to show or this is going to couple with like this is coupled with Pb and hence number of splitting, number of splitting because here also the, uh, the i value is 1 by 2. So the number of splitting is going to follow the formula of n plus 1 where n will be the number of the other type of phosphorus. So for splitting caused by Pa or the splitting of Pa should be in the number of Pb that you have. So you have 3 Pb. So that is why Pa will split into 3 plus 1 peaks or you can say 4 peak which is what you call it as quartet. Okay. So you are going to get a quartet for Pa and if you talk about Pb, so that is coupled with Pa. So all these 3 Pb are equivalent. They are all coupled with Pa. So it is going to split in this will split into 1 plus 1 because there is just 1 Pa over here. 1 plus 1 peak which is basically 2 peak or 2 signals basically you are going to get and that is what we call it as doublet. So, you are going to get quartet and doublet in this case. Okay. So, the A compound is P4S3. So, now your either your option A is correct or option C is correct. Okay. Now, uh, let us talk about option B. Okay. Before going into B, let us understand about C. Okay. Uh, what it could be. So, we have P4S. Uh, yeah. So, we have P4S7 and we have P4S10. Let us try to draw them. So, if I try to draw P4S10, okay. So, that will be drawn something like this. In this case, phosphorus is um, like tetravalent. It is attached to 4, uh, like it has 4 bonds with a double bond sulfur like this. And this is how it will be. So, it will be having kind of a structure of uh, just like you have the structure of uh, methane, right? So, like tetrahedral kind of arrangement. So, that is how it should look. Then you have uh, phosphorus here and it should have 3 sulfur and then it should have double bond sulfur over here. Then this should also be attached to a phosphorus and this should be attached to this sulfur and double bond sulfur. And then you, this sulfur should be attached to a phosphorus, double bond sulfur, and this should be attached to this, and these two phosphorus should be attached with a sulfur, phosphorus, sulfur bond, something like this. Okay, so this is the structure of uh, P4S10. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 sulfurs are there. Now, if you see each phosphorus is attached to 4 sulfur. This is attached to 4 sulfur. This is attached to 4 sulfur. Four sulfur. This is attached to 4 sulfur. This is attached to 4 sulfur. So, all of them are of same type. Okay. All are equivalent. So, if all are equivalent, okay, all are equivalent. So, if all are equivalent, you should get a singlet. Okay. You should get a singlet out of it. Okay, so you should be getting a singlet for P4S10. So that means C should give you a singlet, which is not what you are getting. C is giving you a triplet, triplet, right? So that's how your option C becomes incorrect, and your correct option is option A. But let's try to understand it in more detail. Let's try to see P4S7, okay, whether it satisfies it or not. So P4S10, so this is we've got for P4S3. And uh, this is for P4S10. Let's see whether P4S7 satisfies this or not. Okay. So let's draw P4S7. So the structure of P4S7 should look something like this. We have phosphorus, double bond sulfur, and then we have uh, sulfur, and then we have 
sulfur okay tetrahedral kind of arrangement another phosphorus is also going to have sulfur sulfur tetrahedral kind of arrangement and then we are going to have second type of phosphorus which will be only attached with two sulfur and one phosphorus so this is also attached with one phosphorus and two sulfur okay so this is the structure of p4 s7 you can see 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 and sorry i have made it go with the sulfur so this is how it should be okay fine so how many types of phosphorus here you have so you have phosphorus of type uh, phosphorus of type a let's say so this is of type a and this is also of type a because this is attached to four sulfur attached to four sulfur and this is of type b which is attached to two sulfur and one phosphorus two sulfur and one phosphorus right so your p a should split into n plus one so p b is two so two plus one that means it should give you a triplet and p b is also going to give you two plus one so a triplet okay so you got a triplet triplet in this case so this one satisfies for p4 s7 now you will ask what about p4 so if you just draw p4 that should also form a singlet okay so just if you draw p4 you know that p4 has a tetrahedral kind of arrangement right so in which you have all the phosphorus attached to each other like this one is above the plane so that's why it is darker but all the phosphorus are equivalent so this is also going to give you singlet but because p4 is uh, because this because in option 3 this is correct okay this was showing you the correct uh, like splitting quartet doublet this was also showing you the correct splitting b was singlet and this is also giving you singlet but this third one was not giving you correct peak because this p4 s10 should give you a singlet but here it is showing triplet triplet that's why option c is incorrect okay uh, in option a this is correct this is correct and this also satisfies singlet that's why option a is correct okay but i have given you the splitting pattern of all the uh, four of the like phosphorus sulfides which has been asked in the question all right so that's it from my side for this particular video i am teaching physical chemistry in detail on our gamma batch that is running right now on our app as well as on our website so you, if you want you can enroll yourself all the classes are detailed classes in the form of video lectures you can watch them and uh, it includes all the important topics of your physical chemistry apart from that we also have launched a test series for gate exam where the exam like interface is provided to you along with that you have the detailed video solution for the sol for the question so you can give a mock test you can give a full length test and then you can have a video solution of that we also have topic wise mock test over there for which we are not providing the video solution as of now but you have portions in the form of uh, like topic wise so you can also do that the best thing about this test series is all the questions are new they are not repeated questions or they are not previous years questions so that is the one of the best thing about this particular test series along with these we have also launched our ebooks for csr net as well as for gate exam these ebooks contains all the previous years question starting from csir net june 2011 to june 2024 as well as from gate 2000 to gate 2024 we have uh, all the previous years questions segregated topic wise in which we have detailed solution of each and every concept so you will get the solution of these portions which have been asked in the previous years in this particular ebook you want you can purchase it from the website all the important links are there in the description of this video so you can reach out to these important places and you can make your own purchase so that's it from my side for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next one until then have a great day bye bye take care